Iceland is well known for its magical and diverse nature. Whether it's the natural lagoons, moonlike landscape, or beautiful rocks and mountains, Iceland is a holiday destination of extremes. Reykjavík, the capital city of Iceland, is a 40-minute drive from the airport. The city was founded by Ingólfur Arnarsson in the year of 870. When he first saw Iceland, he was sailing from Norway and threw his valuable wooden seat posts overboard and vowed to settle wherever they washed up. He found them in the southwest of Iceland and named the place Reykjavík, or the Smoky Bay. The smoke was of course hot steam rising from our natural springs, which provides us with the luxury of warm bathing pools. On your way from the airport to Reykjavik, you can visit our most admired spa, the Blue Lagoon. The geothermal seawater is known for its positive effects on the skin. You can laze in the steaming waters, have a beauty treatment, massage and enjoy an excellent meal afterwards. When you get to Reykjavik city, a nice way to get to know the area is to go straight to Hallgrímskirkja, the church of Hallgrímur, and take the elevator to the top of the bell tower. It's the tallest building in the heart of Reykjavik, and from there you'll get a great view over Reykjavik's colorful rooftops, as well as the mountains and the sea which surrounds the city. Good morning, Mr. Leivur. Hello. How are you today? Oh, just fine. Excellent. Next to Hallgrímskirkja, you'll find Café Loki, where the menu consists of traditional Icelandic food. Go on, Dain. Go on, Dain. Trend, what do you recommend today? Ah, today we have special uh, mast fish and potatoes mm -hmm. in gratinelle with salad and homemade dry bread. And the meat soup is always very popular. Icelandic meat soup, and then we use just lamb and a lot of vegetable. And if you want some samples, we have Icelandic plate one or two, or where you can have the homemade dry bread with mast fish or, and the smoked trout. We, we buy it direct from the farmer in the north, in Miva. Mm -hmm. And there you can have this Icelandic shark and uh, dry fish. Mm -hmm. And how do the visitors like the shark? Oh, they, some of them hate it, others love it, but a lot of people want to taste it. And what about the dry fish? Oh, everyone loves that. If you want to know what's going on in Reykjavik, Grab a free copy of the Grapevine magazine. You can find it all over Reykjavik and we talk about music and art and travel and politics. And it's in English. It's a tourist magazine, but Icelanders read it too because there's often interesting um, articles about politics and we have lots of great writers. The best thing about the Grapevine is that we have these listings, so we have a comprehensive calendar with everything that's going on music-wise, art-wise. Um, by date, so it's easy to find out what's going on. Um, we are bold and makes it fun to read and fun to write. It's a fun magazine to write for. It's lovely to take a stroll down this street, Skólavörðustígur, and admire the old charming houses or browse the windows of all the great stores and galleries. In Skólavörðustígur you'll find many cafes, so it's ideal to enjoy a cup of coffee and some delicacies on the way. A great place to shop for woolen goods is the shop Geyser at Skólavörðustígur. This is our traditional Icelandic sweater, Lopapesa. It's always been very popular amongst the locals. Another interesting place in Skólavörðustígur is Tólf Tónar, an independent record store with a wide selection of alternative music, as well as some unique Icelandic homemade recordings you cannot purchase anywhere else. Tol Tónar is a friendly place where you can have a cup of coffee and listen to music. What started out as a small showcase for local DJs has evolved into a fully blown international music festival. 
Iceland Airwaves presents the hottest new bands from the States, Europe and Iceland. Iceland Airwaves is an annual music festival held in downtown Reykjavik the third weekend in October. And it's five days, takes place in various downtown venues and it basically showcases the freshest and most cutting edge in Icelandic talent and international talent. Reykjavik transforms into some sort of musical wonderland during the, the time of Iceland Airwaves. These five days and the days before and not really the days after because that's when people are kind of getting their strength back. Um, it's one of the most exciting times in Reykjavik. For musicians it's like Christmas and that's what Icelandic musicians say a lot. And um, we have around close to 200 bands playing each year. Iceland Airways has a big variety of guests each, each year. It's um, people who are interested in music, people who love Iceland, people who like to um, have a good time in Reykjavik. People tend to come back again and again because it's a festival that you kind of fall in love with. It's fun to spend a day at the harbour in Reykjavik. And if the weather is nice, it's brilliant to go out on the sea. You can start by visiting Viking, a maritime museum at Grandagarður, before taking a tour with a whale watching ship. You can enjoy the view from the sea, and if you're lucky, you might catch a glimpse of a dolphin, puffin, or a whale. Just a few steps from the Keplavik Airport Terminal, you can rent a car from Geysir Car Rental. We were brave enough to rent a car. Uh, we did the Golden Circle yesterday, which was amazing. And we did the uh, Reykjanes Peninsula on uh, the day before that, so that was exceptional as well. Sperna is one of Iceland's leading bus companies. Their bus network covers an extensive part of Iceland, and if you buy a full circle passport, you can travel all around Iceland in your own time. Eh, nos gusta mucho viajar y se nos ocurrió este año por qué no hacer un país nórdico en lugar de, de buscar el calor, que ya en España tenemos mucho calor. Y creo que nos ha sorprendido tanto que, no sé, creo que es de los mejores viajes que he hecho en mi vida. Well, we have kids that we like to keep very active and we feel that they'll enjoy the museums of Europe maybe when they get a little bit older. But right now we like them to be out and hiking and, and doing a lot, of, a lot of physical activity. And that's sort of what Iceland has been for us. It's been a very active family vacation. Believe it or not, it's highly popular amongst the locals to swim regularly in the ice cold sea. We mostly sit at the computer the whole day. So this is quite different and it's always good. And how often do you do it? Uh, every week, always Wednesdays. Seven years. Seven years, no, six years, seven, seventh year. And who knits the swimwear? Our wives, beloved wives and, and grandmoms. But one, one of us started knitting himself and it took one year to knit his and it's really ugly. <laughs> but now some of us are, are learning how to knit and we hope, hope we do, hopefully we will do it ourselves in, in the future. And you never get cold? Well, it's freezing in there, of I mean, course. And never sneeze and get. <laughs> no, well, that's that's another thing. My uh, my department at Decot, where we work, is the healthiest department in in the company. Next to Nautolsvik and Reykjavik's greenest area, Öskjuhlíð Hill, is the Iceland Air Hotel Reykjavik Natura. The name of the hotel itself, Reykjavik Natura, is a reflection on the location of the hotel. We want to make this tangible within the hotel itself. So there is a lot of greenness and uh, organity. We have 220 rooms. Uh, they're all themed, so you can experience Icelandic poetry in the poet rooms, contemporary art in the uh, art rooms, uh, Icelandic flora, and then we also have nature rooms. Uh, moss, geothermal heat, aurora borealis. In this way, we want to give our guests a glimpse of the authentic Icelandic experience. The Pink Suite is a brand new room. We donate part of the revenue of that room to the Icelandic Cancer Society. It's very romantic, very popular for uh, weddings and just people who like to pamper themselves. This is a brand new restaurant and it's called Satt. Satt means two things in Icelandic. It means honest or true or fulfilled. And we think that's the perfect name for a brand new restaurant serving 
uh, honest Icelandic food based on local ingredients with a healthy emphasis. Reykjavik Natura is within 20 minutes walking distance from the city center. It's the only hotel in Reykjavik with an indoor swimming pool at the hotel spa, open to all guests free of charge. Soli Natura Spa is built on the idea of using only Icelandic herbs as the active ingredients in, you know, the oils, massage oils. It's actually built on a old family story. The story goes back for 16 generations. It's like a mindfulness spa, it's a meditational spa. But it seems to be so much going on in the hotel that people might just want to stay here for... <laughs> At the end of the day, most of our guests, they like to stay in. We do all sorts of activities for our guests. We do bedtime stories. You show up in your pajamas and you have hot chocolate and cookies and blankets and pillows. And an Icelandic actor, he reads for you uh, Icelandic stories. We do fashion shows. We do uh, Icelandic films with English subtitles. We have live music. There's so many things going on here. Tell me a story about the giants, said Ari. He settled himself on a rock that he and his father called the Story Stone. Reykjavík is a capital next door to nature, and it's amusing to walk the length of the beach all the way to the lighthouse at Grotta. Next to this old shed in Grotta, there is a hidden hot spring where you can warm your feet and enjoy the midnight sun. The hot spring, Kvika, is an artwork by the artist Olive Nordal. Arguably the finest hotel in Iceland is the four-star Hilton Reykjavik Nordica. Here you can have anything you desire. Vox restaurant offers gourmet food in a sophisticated environment. The menu at Vox is impressive and will certainly satisfy even the most demanding customers. Good day, Stefan. Uh, good day. Welcome to the restaurant. Thank you. This is a beautiful buffet you have here at Vox. Yeah, thank you for that. Yes, uh, we are very proud of this. We actually have uh, this lunch buffet is all uh, working days. But on the weekends we are serving brunches at uh, lunchtime. Mm -hmm. uh, at the restaurant Vox we have a, it's divided into two parts. We have uh, the uh, bistro area and, uh, and the fine dining area. Mm. And I was told that you have the new Nordic cuisine in the forefront. Can you tell me what is the new Nordic cuisine? Well, new Nordic cuisine is all about local actually. It's, uh, we are not importing the for Gra anymore, or we are not using olive oil, and, but we are now using what the Scandinavia offers and uh, mainly what Iceland offers. So local ingredients? Absolutely. Fresh from the sea, from the mountains and, and seasonal. This hotel is a relaxing retreat and getaway. At Hilton Reykjavik Nordica, there is a spacious gym with professional trainers where you'll get a complimentary shoulder and head massage in the jacuzzi. When you book a day tour from Reykjavik, it might surprise you how many places you can see in one day. We are on the Golden Circle. Uh, the Golden Circle is a scenic tour around Iceland which consists of three major highlights. The Thingvelli National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to the cultural and historical background, but also uh, a natural phenomenon where the tectonic plates drift apart. And uh, the Geyser Hot Spring area where we are now with the uh, spouting geyser and geothermal activity and uh, the uh, Gullfoss waterfall, 73 meters high in three plateaus. And what can you tell me about Geysir? Geysir is a geothermal site here in uh, Haukadalur on the Golden Circle, where you have uh, hot springs spouting water up in the air. The original one, the Geysir, is uh, where the name comes from. Uh, used to spout water up to 200 feet in the air, while the younger sibling Strokkur spouts water up to uh, 100 feet every 8 to 12 minutes. Since the time of the settlement, Icelandic people have used the hot springs for a variety of purposes, such as bathing, washing clothes and cooking. Yeah, they're ready. I think so. Let's go. Let me show you. Have it. Ah, cool. Yeah, this is delicious. Well, the bread is uh, baked for 24 hours. Okay. At uh, 80 degrees Celsius, and uh, what really happens is that uh, the temperature caramelizes uh, the sugar, 
and create this really sweet, amazing uh, taste. And okay. I'm looking forward to trying it. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. And, uh, mm. and you can serve this with butter, with herring, all kinds of delicious things that you find here in Iceland. Yummy. You like? <laughs> nice. When exploring the Golden Circle, you can find woolen goods and a selection of the best brands for outdoor clothing in the recently opened Geysir store in Haukadalur. Fontana is an excellent new spa in Laugarvatn, where the locals have enjoyed natural steam baths for almost a century. Here's a perfect place to relax when you do the Golden Circle. And inside, you can both smell and hear the nature. This is based on an old tradition of bathing using the geothermal heat and the steam from the hot springs. The main thing is the steam rooms that are just above the hot springs. You can hear the bubbling underneath you, the power of earth, and you smell it. It has a certain smell. And then we have three thermal pools with different depths and different heats. And then our hot pot, which we call wisdom. Viska yeah. means wisdom because in Iceland we all know the answers when we are sitting in the hot pot. That is where things are solved in Iceland. There are no words to describe this spectacular view and magical experience. On a good day, from here you can see both the volcanic mountains Hekla and Eyjafjallajökull. In Iceland we have so many black beaches. Can you tell me why we have black sand? Well, Iceland is a volcanic island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, located on the Atlantic Ridge. And uh, here we have volcanic eruptions. Iceland is the youngest geological mass on Earth, uh, formed 8 million years ago when Iceland surfaced from beneath the ocean. And uh, the black sand is actually uh, ash from these volcanoes that is dispersed all over the country. So we have the longest stretches of black beaches, just like this one. Don't you think that the Northern Lights are something that everyone should experience at least once in their lifetime? Yes, I absolutely agree. The Northern Lights in Iceland are mainly visible from uh, September through March, April. And it's best to go a little bit outside of Reykjavik City and uh, you should see them uh, glistening across the sky. Mm -hmm. You could even see them from Blue Lagoon. Absolutely, and that would be a dream come true. Norðurflug is the leading helicopter service in Iceland. Their aim is to exceed your expectations and take you on an unforgettable journey. What kind of service do you have on offer? A big part of our job is flying with, with uh, tourists or travellers in Iceland. And um, it, is, it is exciting for people to, to see the, uh, the variety and the contrast of the land and being able to, to go from Reykjavik and stand on a, on a, on a glacier in, in just over 30 minutes. How's the experience for people that fly with you? It's so nice, it's pleasant. It's, it's not noisy at all, it's not shaking or anything. It's just like sitting in your sofa, but with a really, really nice view. In the spring, um, Arctic Heli Skiing is, uh, is a company that we fly for uh, up north, uh, in the Troll Peninsula. So it's, my job is basically flying skiers to the top of the mountain. They get out there and ski down. Air Iceland offers domestic flights to all the main destinations in Iceland. There are various day tours on offer, and this is a quick and scenic way to see many of the most beautiful places. Isafjörður, the largest town in the West Fjords, has towering mountains on either side, providing the perfect shelter for a lively harbour. The town has for centuries been the largest fishing village in the area. A day tour gives you the glimpse of the traditional everyday life in Isafjörður. A mere 45 minute flight from Reykjavik is the beautiful town of Akureyri. Situated on the shores of the north coast, this charming port town is the commercial and cultural capital of northern Iceland. Akureyri is also the ideal location from where to explore some of Iceland's most beautiful natural gems. With Air Iceland you can also fly to Eilstadir, a sunny town in the east. From here you can explore the east fjords, 
visit Hallormstaðaskógur, the biggest forest in Iceland, and you might spot a reindeer on the way. Beautifully located in the forest area by the Lake Lagarfljót is a popular hotel called Hotel Hallormstaður. We have quite old uh, history about hotel here in Hallormstaður, comparing to other hotels in Iceland. And now we are the, the biggest hotel in, in, on the east coast, mm -hmm. famous for the food. Uh, we have a, uh, the next highest uh, waterfall in, in, in uh, Iceland. Hengifoss. Hengifoss, yes. It's, it was the best kept uh, secret in, in, in this area until just a few years ago. And now a lot of people go there. And then there's the lake. Yes, with a monster. <laughs> Our yeah. famous monster. Lagafljots Ormurin in Iceland. Mm -hmm. and it's an old story about it. Similar like Loch Ness. Mm -hmm. But people say that it's still around. Yes, I know people have seen it. I haven't seen it. A 40 minute drive from Eilstadir is a holy place called Skriðuklustur. It was the site of a monastery during the late Middle Ages and is also well known for a unique house which one of the most successful Icelandic novelists built in the year of 1939. Gunnar Gunnarsson was a writer, one of the first professional writers. He moved to Denmark when he was 18 and lived there until he is 50 and comes home to build this house. The house itself is designed by a German architect and it gets a unique twist because there was only Icelanders working on the house itself. So they didn't follow the script completely. For example, the, the walls in the house, they're all a little bit different. They were supposed to be chopped rock, so they would look like normal houses in Europe. And like all the corners do, and like the balcony does. But uh, they didn't have the right rock for it, so they went down to the next river, got river rocks, cleaned them, and then built them up like bricks with the river rocks. It's named after the monastery that we had here from 1493 to 5054. We believe, and the excavation shows us, that this was also a hospital. Uh, we have found ranges of diseases, everything from scurvy to uh, syphilis, pretty much, uh, in the bones. And they have been excavating uh, the monastery for the last 10 years, just finished. So now we are just preparing the area to tell us more about pretty much what they found and the architecture and everything. Seyðisfjörður is one of Lonely Planet's top picks in Iceland. Seyðisfjörður has been known to be sort of the art capital in the outside of Reykjavik area. And we strive to work with artists who are working in the front line of contemporary art. So uh, hopefully that is what people will see when they come here. Uh, we have usually around five uh, exhibitions in our main gallery. Uh, at least half of them with international artists, the other half with Icelandic artists. And what about Lunga? That's an annual festival held. Yeah, Lunga is a week-long uh, festival of art workshops for young people. And during that week, uh, there's quite a lot of off-menu events, art exhibitions, concerts, etc. And that week ends with a big uh, music festival. If people are staying here, uh, what places do you recommend? Well, I would recommend staying at the Hotel Altan, which is a beautiful hotel situated in an old building here in town. And uh, they have a fabulous restaurant with very good, kind of more upscale dining. Uh, and then the Skaftvöld Bistro, of course, serves fantastic bistro food that nobody will be disappointed with. Only a two-hour flight from Reykjavik will take you to Greenland. Located on the west coast of Greenland is the town of Ilulisat. The town has a beautiful location at the mouth of an ice fjord that is filled with enormous icebergs from the fastest and most active glacier in the northern hemisphere. I remind you that it's very easy to make a few days stopover in Iceland when you travel with Iceland Air. So why not add another great destination to your trip across the Atlantic and create new and original memories that will last you a lifetime? Finally, repeat after me. Eya fjalla jökull.